Hey there, Captain Giddies. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues. And with this particular video, I'd like to talk about Doctor Who once again, relating to that great topic of great companions who never were in the history of Doctor Who. Background characters in both modern and classic series stories that stood out to me as being potentially interesting on further adventures through time and space with the Doctor and the TARDIS. In this case, I'm going classic series once again with a character from the, the Tom Baker serial, The Robots of Death. Of course, his companion for that serial was Leela. And in that particular story, you had a character, it was, you know, of course, filled with robots, filled to the brim with them. And you had this one called Robot D84. Now, D84 was kind of the top of the line. You know, they have all these different... Uh, Assignations with the kind of robots there are, the Dumbs, the Vox, and uh, the, the Obervox, or whatever they're called. And this one was actually much higher a grade model of robot. It was a very intelligent and intriguing robot in that he was a detective. He was there with another, you know, sort of a human companion, trying to uncover a mystery that was going on. I won't reveal too many details on that. I highly recommend you go check out The Robots of Death. But in any case, lives are being lost mysteriously as the Doctor arrives on this gigantic mobile sort of mining vehicle on an alien world. And uh, they get caught up in this very interesting aspect where it's like who is the killer it's a who done it there are robots running rampant uh, all over this vessel could it be them could it be one of the human people on board you know the vessel and here is this robot who is very much kind of like the in the early seasons of star trek the next generation lieutenant commander data in that he's trying to understand human brain processes and it's just really interesting to see him interacting with the doctor and at one point he seems to get his configuring wrong with his interpretations and expectations of what the humans on board are going to do or, or what their uh, you know what they're feeling what their emotions are and the doctor could have very easily had this robot as a companion to you know, I mean, no offense to canine, but canine couldn't really get around much. You know, I mean, you see in many a commentary how hard it was for them to keep canine moving, and of course the loud whirring of his machine parts and everything were very annoying. You could almost not hear the dialogue being spoken if canine was on the scene. And, you know, later with the fifth doctor, you had Chameleon, who was in like, what? one whole episode or, or two and then disappeared inexplicably never explained, never seen again um, this was a much better situation where you had somebody in a costume walking around rather than thick, you know, uh, sort of pearlescent makeup like it was with the character data as aforementioned or these, you know, mechanical parts that didn't work. A uh, puppetry with the chameleon character that really was not convincing in any way. And I thought the voice for this robot and the personality, you know, it, it almost sounds ridiculous to say the robot has a personality, but it does. The personality put forth by this robot, I mean, he gets depressed for a few minutes where the doctor has to console him and, and kind of, you know, giving him a wink and a nudge like, you know, perk up, kid. He's like, you want to come investigate things with me? And the robot's like, yeah, yeah, let me come, you know. And so you have this just intriguing <laughs> robot character that would have been a very practical costume. Uh, you know, no more or less excruciating, I would think, than people rolling around in those dustbin Daleks under those hot lights and everything like that, that would have not had the whirring that would have been, uh, you know, obstructive from the mechanical canine, or that would have not had to fail time and again with the chameleon character. So I think D84 is a robot sort of sidekick he could have been that would have been on a journey of self-discovery, a mechanical being that would have grown a conscience by the end of his journeys, you know, encountering monsters and everything like that, being put into predicaments where he had to use not only his analytical sort of senses, his computer senses, but the doctor could have jury-rigged, 
you know, sort of an emotion chip like they did with Data, where he would have also been feeling emotions and understanding instincts, gut instincts, where we're reacting sort of on the cuff and having to make decisions for ourselves, which he would not normally be able to do. I think that could have been a really interesting arc for a companion character that is a robot. And again, it would have been much more practical than what you had with their two other attempts at a robot or robotic kind of companion. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below what you think of this particular choice, Robot D84 from the story Robots of Death. Again, I highly recommend you check that one out. And uh, otherwise, that'll be it for me. So I'll catch you later. Peace.